All right, YouTube, this is Two Cent back with my Two Cents on Octopath Traveler, and I just want to come and give you guys three more tips that I've found over the last three weeks of playing the game that I just think would be useful for everybody. Especially tip number three is one that I really wish that I had uh, remembered or thought about within the last couple weeks here, as it would have been really useful. So stay tuned for that, and as usual, if you find my content helpful, hit that subscribe button so you can check out all my videos when they come out. Let's get into the video. All right, for tip number one here, we're gonna see saving hunts. And there's gonna be a little question mark on there here because I don't think it's good to always do this and certainly not to do it in regards of like hurting yourself while doing it. So let me explain in detail what exactly I mean here. All right, so as you can see up here, this is our hunt page. Up at the top right, you see it says one out of seven. That means technically you can get hunt attempts that will stack all the way to seven. Uh, maybe in case you can log in for that week or something like that, it makes that kind of helpful to have that. Also, there's some other usage of why you might want to wait to use your hunts. So let's look at that. So when a new character banner comes out for the first seven days, they have a guidestone up from hunts that you can kind of see here. And that's what that ongoing promotion is. that's down there at the bottom left. So here we're showing that Hasume, she's gonna get an a bonus of plus 10 of those guide stones uh, when she runs her hunt. And so obviously you're gonna want to make use of that for when you have these units. So part of the idea of saving your hunts is if you know that there's a unit coming out that you're going to pull. So a lot of times we get some information early, which is right around, you know, maybe Sunday or Monday. Uh, you might want to save the first couple or, you know, two or three hunts up for when the banner drops on Wednesday. You pick up your new unit, then you run your hunts and you get a, a little bit ahead on your guide stones for that unit. Uh, is it a whole lot? No, but what I also wanted to put this tip in here for is because I'm seeing some folks out there that are like thinking, oh, well, let's just save up all seven of them and then we can just burn them all in that one day. And so I wanted to give you guys the reason why I don't think you should do all seven days. All right, to show you guys, we went over to the uh, kind of weekly missions that we're getting in our feats. And we see that we have one to complete three hunts and one to complete five hunts for a total of 20 gold guildstone shards per week. So uh, I don't want you to save up all seven and then miss out on getting your uh, five in for that week before because you're saving for the next week or something like that. So uh, just make sure that you do get your five in per week so you can get your 20, uh, 20 uh, guide stones here. And then after that, sure, if you want to kind of save up, see even maybe just see what the new unit's going to be on a Wednesday. Uh, if it's not somebody you're going to roll on, then you know you can go ahead and just use up your uh, ones that you've saved. Uh, and then after that, just kind of, you know, rotate that every week. All right, so maybe that first tip was a little too min-maxy for you. That's okay. Uh, our next tip here is going to be a little bit more mellow, a little more casual here. And that's just to, you know, really take a look at your exchanges here. Because, you know, you can use the memory shards that your nameless town is collecting to uh, pump into, uh, you know, boosting up your units, whether it be your four-star or five-star units. As you can see here, Weekly, you can get uh, 50 of the gold guide stones and 100 of the silver guide stones. And it's gonna cost you 700 of your memory uh, points there from your farms and from your daily grinds and everything like that. Uh, so you, you may not wanna do this every single week, but uh, you kinda can do some little bit of math or rough estimates. We do have the Apaka farm coming out in the next couple months, probably in November. And with that, I do believe the estimate is going to take right around uh, 2,000 or just under 2,000 of your memory shards to completely max that out. And so what I've kind of been doing is I'm saving until I get to that 1,900, you know, 2,000 mark. And then I'm going to use the rest of mine to weekly kind of get some silver and gold guide stones just to help progress my characters just that little bit quicker. Now, also, side tip in here, if you don't know, if you look up there, you know, there's another tab that says get shards. That's where you can go in and sell the uh, the the you know materials that you're picking up from your daily monster grinds out there next to your nameless town, which will just give you more memory shards. So if you haven't been doing that, uh, make sure you do that. That way, that'll really kind of help in here. I think I have at least another six or seven hundred worth of memory shards sitting in those resources right now. All right, and for our last tip here, it's going to be awaken your four stars. Uh, your four stars don't actually need dupes to awaken them. They they can just use silver guide stones to do that, which means you can farm those from hunts. And I knew this and I was going to do that with all of the uh, four stars that I'm using on my team. 
and over this last week and a half, I completely forgot about it and just kept raising their level cap, which is okay because I wanted to unlock other things on their board, but that extra 30% of stats is super important. As you can see here, it gives you physical attack, physical defense, elemental attack, elemental defense, crit, speed, all up you know 30 percent up to 50 on that which is you know a really good stat increase you also then could get access to an extra battle slot and then extra hp and all, all, all things that uh, would be really great uh, especially going into the arena that you're needing to bring some four stars into so uh don't sleep on this go ahead and when you're farming these units up with your hunts or even doing you know from the tip and you know step two here or the tip two here where we exchange for some uh some of the silver guide stones you could be coming over and using some of that to awaken some of these uh you know what are you going to call clutch units for different content that you're going to be doing anyway i hope you guys found this helpful and that's been mine two cents.